Hi, it's Hans at happierman.com. Today's topic is your thoughts. Well, if you've seen any of my other videos, if you've been on my website at happierman.com, if you're thinking about buying my book, Leave Your Wife and Become a Happier Man with a Three-Step System, you'll know that the system, the first part of the system, the first step is to get your mind right, which is your thoughts. And if you have no, if your life is not going that great, what you'll notice is your thoughts are all wrong. The people whose lives are seriously amiss, who aren't enjoying their life, who have tremendous problems, who are struggling and suffering, who have poor health and who have a excess problems who aren't getting along with people who aren't the people who, who don't have work that they like to do who can't seem to support themselves all of this is caused by their thoughts being wrong so what you want to do is get your thoughts right which means get uh, working on this um, positive thinking about yourself all day every day making sure that the information that you put into your mind from you is good. So you would be wanting to be your best friend, your your own cheerleader, uh, you telling you that you have what it takes, that you deserve a great life, that you should be happy, that you should do whatever it takes to have a good life and be happy and abundant, and that your relationship should be harmonious and that if you're not enjoying how you're making a living, you would make changes until you are. And if you're not enjoying, if you're having a, if people around you are giving you a hard time and not treating you well, you would make changes to get away from those people. However, whoever they are, however they're related to you, you would get away from them. You see what I mean? This is your. Your thoughts are that, you des that you're a good person, that you deserve a great life, that your happiness is utmost, that you should be able to enjoy a beautiful life in the beautiful world that we have. That it's not your lot in life to suffer and struggle and be in misery. That's how you change your thoughts to, to, to a great life. The people with a great life all want everybody to have a great life, right? It's only the people with a bad life who want other people to have a bad life. You see what I mean? So it's you, you, you've got to constantly guard yourself. There are going to be people below you trying to pull you down to, their, to them and saying, hey, why do you get to have a good life? And I'm saying, tough, I'm going to have one anyway those people below you could be your family and your best friends, right? It's not uh, just bad people. People, they get, they, they don't understand this idea. This is why I talk about it. I want you to understand the idea of how your thoughts are so critical to your happiness and well-being. And, and the thoughts are that you deserve it, that you matter, that you should can do whatever it takes to make you have a good life. Whatever changes are necessary. Even if those changes are darn hard. And let me tell you, the changes I've made have been darn hard. It's been so much easier to not make those changes. But, I deserve to have a good life. So I chose to make whatever changes are necessary. And I'm gonna to continue to make whatever changes are necessary, just like I'm encouraging you to do. You know, this doesn't always have to be so hard either. Some changes you make are just gonna be natural. It will just be, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna think well of myself. I, I have a great job. I'm gonna just continue to go to every day and do better and better and learn more and be the go-to person. What's wrong with that? Seems like a pretty good life, doesn't it? They pay me to do this stuff, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Maybe you are with a great woman. 
what would be wrong with just staying with her and enjoying her, treating her well the way she's treating you? What if the relationships you have are great? Well, just continue to do that. But I think some of you don't have that. I think some of you are in jobs that really you're not suited for. They may be really too hard for you. They may be too boring and tedious, and you should do something a little tougher. They may re a better job may require you to take a step back, earn less money, and try something else and go up the other ladder, not the one you're on. You may got to get some training. You may have to readjust to how you do your, your finances. You may be totally over your head in debt. And the, the thoughts then is maybe you gotta go bankrupt. Maybe you don't pay your bills. You, know, you change your thoughts to what works for you. What is the appropriate thing for you to make your life be better? Change, go, that starts with your thoughts. It starts with you thinking you matter. It's spending time with a pencil and a, a pen and a paper journaling what you want, how you want your life to be, what don't you like about it. When you know what you don't like about it, you can start figuring out ways to move away from those things. When there's things that you really wanted to do and you're not doing, well, you, you, you've written them down. What do you want to do? And why aren't you doing those things? What would it take for you to do those things? These are thoughts, right? This is you making plans for your future. This is how people have a successful life. This is how people get things done. This is how people enjoy the extreme happiness and extreme abundance that's available to us. It's available to us. And you won't and, but it's only available if your thoughts are focused on how you want your life to go. So spend some time. It's just, this is like Wednesday as I'm speaking. The weekend will be coming. You Maybe you'll have some time to get to the coffee shop and start clear, clarifying your thoughts. I know I'll try to be spending some time with that. I'm going to go see my daughter tomorrow night, which I absolutely love. And... You know, I like to spend time with her and make sure that she's expanding her thoughts this way. And she has. I've been talking about this kind of stuff with her for years. And her life is fantastic. She learned all of this at an earlier age. I wish I would have known about this, you know, 45 years ago. But just because I didn't know about it then doesn't mean I can't do it now. You start today where you're at. If your life sucks, it's going to take some doing to unsuckify it, but it's going to continue to suck unless you change your thoughts about it and start, start doing things for you. All for now.